So you're starting a business. You know that means you have to do your bookkeeping, and you know that there are bookkeeping software options to help you, but you aren't sure which to pick. Well, I'm here to help. I'm always trying to keep things simple, so with this video, we're just going to compare the differences and the pros and cons between FreshBooks and Wave. We're going to compare on these following categories, price, reports, integrations, support, time tracking, payroll, payments and invoicing, and then also accountant support. I'll do another video comparing FreshBooks to QuickBooks Online and FreshBooks to Zero. You can click here to see these once they are available. Also check the description for links to those videos. Now, full disclosure, I'm a FreshBooks accounting partner. Clearly, I do think it's a great product, but I hope to earn your trust by making an honest comparison for you so that you can make the best decision for you. No accounting software is perfect for, any, for every business. You have to decide for yourself which is best. And speaking of trust, I'm vigilante about disclosing referral links, so I'll always let you know that the links below to FreshBooks are, is my accountant partner referral link, and it will get you FreshBooks free for 90 days. But again, you have to decide which software is best for you, not some accountant who's trying to hawk some software for the commissions. I will never use a referral link without disclosing it. So, should you pick FreshBooks or should you pick Wave? Let's dive in. All right, so let's talk about price. So here we are in Wave. Wave is free, and that's what draws a lot of people to Wave. I've got to say, for a free product, it really is pretty good. Here we are. It says create your free account. Uh, easy, free, intuitive software. So it's really pretty good. And what I mean by that is that it's a real double entry accounting software with real financial statements. So if you ever need to uh, get assistance from an accounting or bookkeeping professional, they'll be able to work with you. Um, if you're serious about your business, you're going to want to eventually have a uh, bookkeeper or an accountant helping. And folks like me, we're not going to help you if you don't have double entry software. All right, so let's go to FreshBooks. Okay, so here we are with the FreshBooks price. Seeing the, the least expensive plan is called the Light Plan for $15 a month. Uh, the main limitation I see of this is that you cannot invite an accountant user and you only have five billable clients. Now, there are ways around that by archiving clients or just marking payments from customers as other income without tra tracking them specifically from a client uh, in your FreshBooks account, but I only see that working in very specific use cases. And hacks like that are never really ideal. Um, it would work well if you use an income importer for something like an Etsy shop or importing your Stripe transactions um, where you don't need specific client names in your bookkeeping software. And, and since you can't invite an accountant user with the light plan, um, and this accountant access does give us accountants a few superpowers that business owners don't have, um, that's a pretty significant limitation of that light plan. Um, you also can't accept e-signatures from your clients when you send them a proposal. You don't get proper bank reconciliation feature with the light plan, and you don't get access to all of the double entry accounting reports. But behind the scenes, you the software is doing real double entry accounting, so when you upgrade, to, to plus, that, that's pretty seamless. Um, another important discussion here is going to be about the difference between the plus and the premium. Currently, the most important difference is the unlimited clients versus the 50 unlimited here and 50 in plus. Um, this distinction might be important for fast-growing businesses or businesses that have a lot of smaller clients where maybe your engagements or services are for short projects or maybe like group coaching with like lots of clients, something like that. If you only do a few high-dollar engagements like book maybe like you're a book ghostwriter or you're a Salesforce architect or maybe you're a traditional architect, um, that, that, then you can do those extended higher dollar engagements, but you're doing fewer of them, and you might not hit that $50 client limit. Um, that might not be a problem for you. Um, there are other things that distinguish the plus and the premium, um, notably the feature having to do with bill pay. Um, uh, this accounts payable functionality is uh, available in the premium, but this functionality still has a ways to go before FreshBooks becomes what they want it to be. The ability to track profitability of projects um, and clients is a pretty cool feature that the premium has. Um, if you have projects that are large enough to be standing alone where you want reports at the project level, you probably aren't bumping up against that $50 billable clients um, limit. 
but it might be a great feature for you to have anyway. Um, so you'll have to assess that for yourself. So I'll summarize right now by saying that though there are features that change with the different plans in FreshBooks, the most distinguishing feature is the number of clients that uh, changes with the plans. So if you think you're going to be rapidly uh, acquiring clients, this might be something you don't want to fiddle with. Um, so there really isn't much fiddling if you just move to the next plan though. So it's not like a big deal if you pick one of the lower plans to start. You don't have to pick Pick the highest plan versus wave is what I'm trying to say. Um, you can pick a lower plan and then if you scale quickly to lots of clients, you can just upgrade. I'm not going to talk about the select uh, category because I don't know anyone who's using that yet. I just can't speak intelligently to that, but you can get custom pricing for that. If you really are a large operation, you'll get some discounts and some additional features. All right, let's talk about reports now. There are a couple things I want to point out. So I'm in WAVE, and there I'm in the report section. There are 13 total reports. If I come over to FreshBooks and go to reports, there are 20 that I counted, a couple that I wanted to point out specifically. Um, FreshBooks has mileage tracking. Uh, WAVE does not. Um, so you can turn on the mileage tracking on your phone, and uh, that is built in. So that's one uh, improvement that FreshBooks has. Um, and then down here at the bottom, um, some of these new um, profitability reports by project, by client, those are not going to be available in WAVE. So those are available with um, FreshBooks. Okay, another thing I wanted to point out is how they are different in terms of the, the time period. So WAVE allows you to just have um, a, a year to date. Well, sorry. You pick the date range. It defaults to year to date whenever you run the report, but you can change it. And then you can compare to a single prior period. So the most you're going to get is um, the, the two columns. Comparing the same report here in FreshBooks, the default is to give you a, a report with all the months showing. You can change that a little bit, and you could group them by quarter pretty easily. Uh, you could also run the report and just get a month report. So there's a quite a bit um, easier, a lot less clicks to, to, to change the, the, the time frames that you want to report, and you can compare multiple periods very easily with few clicks. One thing that I do want to point out is that you can change this income statement in FreshBooks to accrual versus cash basis accounting, uh, and I, but, but in FreshBooks you can't generate a cash basis balance sheet. Um, in WAVE you can, there's a toggle there for that that's really easy. Um, and I personally like to be able to generate both reports in the same accounting basis. It isn't a deal breaker because you, uh, it doesn't really affect Schedule C tax filers anyway, but I would like to see that toggle between cash basis and accrual in uh, FreshBooks on the balance sheet. I think it would be more consistent. All right, so now we're going to compare integrations. So I'm here in my uh, WAVE account, and I clicked integrations down here, and uh, this is the integrations page. So I'm scrolling down, and we're done. Um, and a lot of it has to do with using uh, Zapier anyway, <laughs> So that which is an additional um, application. And depending on how many zaps you have, you have to pay for it. So in general, I would say, you're not getting WAVE because you love the integrations that it has. So if you're an integration person, WAVE will not be the software for you. Um, and in general, you're going to want things that connect to WAVE, even with Zapier, that are accounting integrations. Um, and a lot of this is like appointments and scheduling, CRM. So there's not a whole lot of... It's not necessarily weighted to the accounting applications anyway. I'll come over here to my FreshBooks apps and integration page. I've got, I got Melio and Gusto connected, uh, but these are some of the featured ones that they have. A little bit heavier on the actual accounting side. Definitely a lot more that are, that are properly integrated. It's not like just the list, like, oh, you can integrate these, but you have to use Zapier. So summary, FreshBooks has a lot more functionality with integrations. Now let's talk about support. So WAVE does not have support unless you're using the additional paid features. Uh, so it has a little chat bot that everyone can access, but it's, it's, not, it's not a human answering it. Um, if you accept WAVE payments or um, the, the, if you have WAVE payroll, um, any of the paid products, you do get access to accounting support. It's open from 9 to 5 uh, Eastern, but it's only via email or typing, no phone calls. As far as support in FreshBooks goes, um, so it's kind of the exact opposite. FreshBooks has put an enormous amount of resources into support. Every single new employee, no matter what de their department, 
they are in, they have to work on the support desk before, for the first few weeks before they start their actual job. Um, you can talk on the phone here. That's, I think, sort of like their preferred way to help you. Um, I've used that feature many times. I'm pretty sure it's open from, from 9 to 6. I will try to investigate that and add that in the pop-up to this video. Uh, of all the accounting software, FreshBook wins on support. Not, uh, it, it wins on all the softwares, not, when, not just when comparing it to Wave. All right, so here in, so let's talk about time tracking. So here in Wave, I went to the payroll tab and they have this button called time sheets. So get started today means like to track time is you're, you're using their payroll product. Um, it's not just a way to track time for your own benefit or to build to clients, anything like that. So it's definitely in their payroll module and that's an additional product that you pay for. Now, FreshBooks, on the other hand, has time tracking built into it. Um, I think that's the part of the history of how it was first built as an invoicing software, and you would want to add billable time to your invoices. So it's a pretty robust feature that's native. And I guess when I say robust, I should clarify. I'm not talking robust as in like a full um, like payroll management application where you're going to maybe make you know, shift work and you're going to be uh, writing schedules and people are going to be clocking in and out. I'm just talking about basic time tracking. You sit down, you want to track and you want to assign it to a project. Um, and then you can have your employees do the same thing. Um, those are additional users in FreshBooks, so th those you have to pay for. But y'all can all track time that gets billed to projects if you have multiple people working on a project. Um, and so you start and stop. You can manually enter. You can edit. I often forget to hit the stop button, so I go back and edit um, whenever I'm tracking time just for my own personal um, uh, use to like know how much I'm spending on a client. I don't bill hourly, hourly but um, it's, it definitely works and is robust and you can use time tracking for you know, on any level of subscription. All right, so time tracking takes us directly into payroll. Let's talk about that. Um, wave payroll. So here we are. It's a additional feature. Um, it's sim simple. So it's, it's native. It's not an outside app. And lots of times native is is good. Um, there's there's always risk with like integrating something that you don't set it up properly. All right, so as I'm scrolling down here, um, here's where some limitations are. So you're gonna see that they are only offer full service payroll in 14 states as of the time of this recording. Uh, they offer self-service payroll in the other 36 for a cheaper fee. Um, I really recommend full service payroll. I think most people don't understand. I, I, I don't even do payroll for clients. I always use a full service payroll provider because they're experts. The laws are always changing. It's really not something you want to mess with. Um, and you have to stay on top of stuff like reports all year long. So highly recommend full service. And only 14 states are um, have that available in WAVE. Now, the way FreshBooks does it is through an integration. And this is the only payroll app that is set up to be integrated with FreshBooks. Um, they are very closely knit partners. Um, FreshBooks is a Canadian company. I think they knew better than to try to just deep dive into the American payroll scene. Uh, so they hired Gusto. Uh, Gusto happened to be who I was I used for my own payroll. I was using them long before I decided to really deep dive into serving clients on FreshBooks anyway. So I loved knowing that they were uh, a, a partner. Let's check the pricing here. So Gusto is $4 more per month base price per person for their, for their basic plan. Uh, Wave was $35 per month. But, uh, Gusto does file all 1099s for contractors. So you can pay your contractors w from inside of your Gusto. And if you do that, then at the end of the year, those 1099s are filed and sent for you. Uh, the Wave payroll software said that uh, note, this excludes 1099 filing. So you can pay your contractors in WAVE, I think, but you'll have to take that data and, and issue the 1099 yourself. All right, so you can create invoices and get paid inside WAVE. Let me scroll down here. This is their payments tab. Um, right here is the pricing, 2.9 plus 30 cents for credit card, 1% for ACH. Um, one thing to note is that there's only one type of payment offering, and FreshBooks did offer discounts for people on the select plan, so um, that's something to consider. You can get discounts on your merchant services fees um, if you are on the FreshBooks select plan. It doesn't appear to be that way with the, the Wave apps. All right, now let's talk about FreshBooks invoicing and payments. Um, FreshBooks was built as an invoicing software uh, before it hired a ton of hardcore engineers to make it a true double-entry accounting platform. 
Um, so invoicing is what it does well. It's very simple. It's very easy. It's kind of what they're known for. Um, so when you create an invoice here in FreshBooks, you can choose to accept online payments. Lots of customizing you can do. Uh, here are the fees, 2.9% uh, plus 30%. That's the exact same that Wave was. Um, you can take Stripe and PayPal and kind of integrate that as well. ICH is available for 1% uh, in the U.S., yeah, and so each time you click an invoice, there's like a, a link created that will allow your client to pay straight from, from that link. Now, there's something else that both Wave and FreshBooks have in beta. Um, I'm not going to go to the, the Wave one, but it's, it's definitely there. They're called checkout links. Um, I think this has the potential to be really powerful. Um, the, yeah, they're both in beta, but um, they're going to keep getting better, and I haven't heard really like complaints about how they work. Um, they're basically a link to a specific product. Uh, so an example that I thought of was like, say you're like a photographer and you want to offer like fall like Christmas card mini uh, sessions for families, you know, 20 minutes you know, get like a bunch of uh, photos in that amount of time, but you're doing a whole bunch of people. So you could create like a product for like okay, 200 bucks family fo photos for tw 20 minutes, and that link is just like available and everyone's using that same link to buy that service of yours. That would be an example. And you're not really needing to create invoices for those clients because you're not really customizing how you're working with them. Um, that, that's an example of how I think those things could work. Um, lots of ways you could put those links on like a button on a website to get paid for certain specific things. Um, so I'm excited to see um, them continue to build this out and make it really easy to use. Um, but and Wave has the exact same thing. All right, thanks for sticking with me. We've got one more category I want to walk through, accountant support. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to say if you appreciate this content and would uh, like to say thanks, best thing you can do is that trifecta of YouTube support. Hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and leave a comment or question below, and that really helps me as I build this YouTube channel. So accountant support. So here we are in Wave. Uh, they have something called Wave Advisors. Now, this is an in it says VIP treatment from our in-house bookkeepers and accounting and payroll coaches. So this is an in-house service, and you will click here to see the pricing. And this is like outsourced bookkeeping and payroll support. Um, and then there's a star that uh, says that it's starting at or up from 149 a month. So um, I, I don't know anyone who's using this. If you're using this. Uh, please chime in below. I'd love to hear what you think about it. Um, but this is not the kind of thing where it's like people having their own businesses, I don't think. Um, these are, seems like they're staff of, of Wave HQ. They do offer this uh, ongoing monthly support and then ver a one-time fee, which would be just like a, a, a probably like getting you set up and teaching you some basic things about how to, how to use Wave. Now, FreshBooks has... Uh, an accountant directory. This here is the page for it. The link it will be below for you to uh, get connected with a certified FreshBooks accounting partner. Um, oh, by the way, Wave, I don't think, has like a certification program that I know of, um, and I'm pretty sure I would know. So um, these folks here in the FreshBooks accounting directory are, are certified in their accounting training. Um, I did create a video about working with a FreshBooks Accounting Pro. I'll have it pop up right here. Um, I suggest you do your due diligence and interview a couple of us. I am one um, that would be, would potentially be connected to via this directory. Um, but um, interview a couple people, see uh, who, who you jive with, who are, is going to fit your needs, um, and all that you need done. All right, we covered a lot, but I hope you found this helpful. If you need assistance uh, with picking an accounting software, picking between FreshBooks and Wave, uh, chime in below, ask a question. I can try to d dive deeper into whatever question you have. Um, and be sure to check out the comparisons I've done between FreshBooks and Xero and FreshBooks and QuickBooks Online. Those links will be below. Um, and don't forget that you can try FreshBooks free for 90 days, so it's kind of risk-free, um, and see if you like it. And if you're interested in ongoing support, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm happy to have a quick call with you to see uh, what, what your issues are and if I'd be able to help. And that also lets you know if you're a good candidate for a program I run called the Fresh Bookkeeping Network. Um, I host weekly office hours in that group and answer questions for people who are doing their own bookkeeping on FreshBooks but still want access to a, a FreshBooks Pro. I'm Kate Josephine Johnson, owner of Heritage Business Services, and I help business owners build their business legacy.